different culture have different holidays. You know, we have Christmas, Thanksgiving, and uh, here, and uh, I'm sure there are other holidays that I'm not aware of. But I think one thing is all the holidays, uh, you know, families getting back together, the reunion and celebration of another and hoping for another good year. So that is the common um, thread and celebration, the topic to celebrate for. Yeah. My English name is Xiaorong Huoren and I'm living in Milo, Maine. I originally am from China, uh, lives in a city called Taiyuan, Shanxi province. That is about um, 300 miles southwest of Beijing. My name is Christine. My last name is the C-H-O-U. We call Zhou, Christine Zhou. Um, so I'm from Taipei, Taiwan. Um, so I came to America since uh, 1986. So it's a long time. I'm Lily Crane. That's my English name. And my Chinese name is Li Chun Li. Um, I'm from Guangxi province. Guangxi is actually west to the Guangdong province. So I am from somewhere near Guangzhou area. So down, down, down in the south part of China. Yes, and I'm now uh, teaching Chinese and ESL in Bengal High School. I am uh, from the ethnic group that is called Zhuangzhu. Uh, Zhuang is um, one of the 56 uh, ethnic groups <laughs> and Han is the majority and the other 55 are the minorities and my group is considered um, the biggest minorities in China. So in my hometown uh, during the uh, new year, we would make something that is called Zhongzi, which is actually a sweet rice uh, wrapped in the bamboo leaves. So I still do that every year for myself, my friends, and sometimes I will bring some to my students. And the shape of the zongzi is actually like a pillow. And the top is kind of high because there's an old saying in Chinese, um, gao zhen wu yo, which means if you sleep on a high pillow, you don't have worries. So, <laughs> and we use stick, uh, uh, sweet rice inside because sweet rice is very sticky. We are hoping that all the family members stick together. And that's what I normally do during the new year. The tradition that um, in my hometown, like um, we will make zongzi ahead of time, but um, on the new year's eve, a lot of time my mom will make, uh, will make a bunch and then we'll cook it. And we always wait for the first one to take the first because uh, that's an old saying that um, if you get the first bite of the first zongzi that is cooked on the, <laughs> on the new year, you, are, you will be the smart kids. So all the kids will be waiting and you know, <laughs> we are all eager to get the first one, yes. <laughs> and then get the, the first bite. I grew up in Northern part of China. So the celebration is a little bit different than Lily's. Um, like she said, you know, she, she eats uh, zhongzi for Chinese New Year, but most part, northern part of China, we eat dumpling, jiaozi. Uh, that is made of, you know, um, wheat flour with stuffings in it, and all kinds of different shapes and different meats in it. Um, the things that are different for Shanxi is, um, I want to talk about is uh, la ba suan, it's called, you know, the the sweet sour pickled garlic. <laughs> um, it has to be made on the eighth day of the 12 months. So it's three weeks before Chinese New Year. Has to make on that day. And you, you know, peel the garlic and uh, wash them and put in, soak them into uh, a special vinegar. It's Shanxi old aged vinegar and with a little bit of sugar. So you soak them, you know, pickle them for three weeks. And I was told only the pickle, you pickle the garlic on the eighth day of the 12th month that it can turn into green at the end. <laughs> 
so we make this uh, sweet sour pickled garlic. And uh, when it's ready by Chinese New Year's Eve, we take it out, use the vinegar, and uh, crush minced uh, garlic and uh, make dipping sauce for the dumplings. <laughs> and uh, I think the most uh, uh, we are expecting the Chinese New Year we like to do is, of course, is food. Just like American Christmas, American Thanksgiving, uh, family get together. If your family out of town to work, this is the time to come home to visiting your special, your parents. And uh, so your parents always bring a lot of food, get ready for you because they know what you like to eat. And uh, the second thing is when we were younger, so we are, have a day off. That's the most people are expecting, so don't have to work and don't have to go to school. It's holiday. Just like the New Year, uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas in America, you have a long-term day off. That's what we are expecting. And the uh, third thing is uh, the children really expecting Chinese uh, tradition uh, of uh, Hong Bao. I don't know, you know Hong Bao means. Just like a Christmas, uh, you are expecting your parents give you a lot of gift, right? Under the Christmas tree. We don't use a Christmas tree, we just gave to you. And uh, you have to bow to your elderly. And uh, so they will give you a big red envelope. What is a red envelope inside for is uh, money. We don't buy gift because uh, we think a gift uh, maybe you don't like or that doesn't fit you or Give your money is the, the best. So. And every year we, I try to do a, a kind of like an in-school field trip with my students. We will um, sing the New Year song and uh, they will be waiting for me for the red envelopes, the Ya Sui Qian that we gave. Uh, the best one is what Lily mentioned, the, the uh, red envelope, the lucky money <laughs> from parents. <laughs> So uh, when I was little and then, you know, you had always the night, you know, w w some kids want like to stay up, you know, past midnight because you want to show year uh, to pass or make sure that I'm going to the new year. And then for us and the, my sister and I always like to go to bed early because if we go to bed early and the next morning when we wake up, there will be um, red envelope underneath our pillows. <laughs> it's called Ya Sui Qian. So you, the, the parents snuck it in and in the middle of night and put underneath the pillow. So it's the first thing that, you know, we, we do the first new year and uh, flip the <laughs> pillow up and then try to find the red envelope. The red envelope is uh, one thing that um, every kid is looking forward to because that's the, the only time that you can get rich, you know. But when you were parents, you were not, you, you probably don't like to be the one who always have to give the red envelopes. Um, but I'm still like, uh, I, yeah, I think the red envelope is actually just like a symbol of the new year. And it's still like uh, till now, like, um, my students and my colleagues, um, they all get the red envelopes from me. Um, every year uh, for zoology, we have very important, we have to check ahead the year, like uh, what year the zoology is going to be, okay? Like uh, 2020 is a year of the rat, and uh, we know that's going to be a horrible year. And uh, this year coming, which is uh, after this uh, uh, Friday, we are going to have a year of ox, okay? We total have a 12 animal uh, recycling every 12, 12 years a cycle. So some animal is conflict to you. Some animal is uh, harmony to you. So it depends on what animal you belong to, which year you was born. So that will bring to, uh, you will predict good year or bad year to you this coming new year. So 
everybody is so exciting to know what is going to be good for me. If good for you, say yay. If not good for you, ah. Oh. So we all have to predict what the new year is going to be. Um, I always tell my students about the Ben Ming Nian. Like, uh, for example, my son was born in the year of the ox. So this year will be uh, his Ben Ming Nian. And for the Ben Ming Nian, uh, uh, the tradition in China is we have to wear something red, especially when you are from the old year to the new year, the New Year's Eve. Okay, we need to have something red because um, uh, it is considered um, a good, you know, like a good luck or fortune to carry with you, the red. The red is a good luck color, okay? That day, everybody have to wear one piece of red, okay? No matter red uh, shirt, red pants, red socks, or red underwear, nobody can see it. And uh, so uh, red is important. But if you don't have a red, at the least, you cannot wear anything white, okay? White is a morning color, special like a white uh, hat, okay? Or white scarf, that's we are mean to uh, very not good luck. So we just avoid the white. Black is okay, but not white. Then it's a firecracker. The children really like to play that. And uh, sometimes your hometown have a parade and you can see my background. I have a dragon hanging behind me. So we have a dragon hanging there. And uh, so dragon parade is uh, bigger things for we were young to like to watch. Hi, I'm Steve Wong, Brewer, Maine, and we come down to Westbrook every year to do the lion dance, except for this year. Uh, my family, as my assistants, Roger Wong, and his daughter, Penny, and his son, Oliver, and my other assistant, Stephen Wong, and his son, Nathaniel, and his daughter, Amelia. Like I said, you know, some kids like to stay up to show year for the wait for the the new year to come. And uh, I think I was like in third grade. Uh, I decide that I'm old enough. I can stay up all night <laughs> to wait for the new year to come. <laughs> so I did. Um, everybody was falling asleep and then I'm there, um, you know, we, we eat lots of the uh, roasted sunflower seeds. So I just eating the sunflower seeds to keep myself awake. And the finally six o'clock in the morning, I'm waking up my mom, waking mom, dad and said, I'm hungry, we need to eat dumplings. <laughs> so we did, 
Yeah, we, we had breakfast and then we go out to visit the neighbors, elderly, and you say Happy New Year. And then some, you know, the uncles and aunts will give you a red envelope, of course, you know, very, very uh, traditional. And so mm -hmm. for lunchtime, I came home. Uh, mom said, okay, you, you can sweep the floor. You know, there are lots of sunflower sheets, uh, sunflower <laughs> shells, <laughs> seed shells on the ground. So you just sweep them up and then you can, you know, um, you can go out again. So I was sweeping the floor and then 10 minutes later, my mom find me was head down on the bed frame. One hand still have the broom in my hand and falling asleep standing there. <laughs> so family get together and are fighting each other. You know, your sister, your sibling, you don't choice them, you're just born with them. And uh, we always disagree. Why mother do this for you, not do this for me? And uh, you just fight. But after fight, you are, it's a part of fun. <laughs> I don't know that in America, you have a Christmas get together or Thanksgiving get together. A lot of uh, depressing come up because you are not necessarily get along with your sibling, but that's a part of a holiday. And to me, I think it is a part of fun, you know. You don't want to see them, but you want to fight them, but they're your sibling, what can you do? <laughs> to me, that's a fun part. Another thing that I like is the decoration. Because in the Chinese New Year, you put up all the, you know, the red lanterns and then um, uh, all those, um, you know, the paper cutting, the, the uh, things on the window and then um, the chun lan on the door and all those decorations are things that I like so much. And when all my students and I, when we put up all those things, it, it reminds me of home, you know, like the Chinese New Year at home. That's what we did when uh, all the kids uh, get back home and then we stay together, we clean the house and we put up everything and get ready for the New Year. And that part is something that I miss a lot.